Hi, and welcome to another AlterEgos.com video. In this video, we will be discussing the use of custom settings in the AppSense Environment Manager console. Custom settings configure additional settings which will be applied on managed endpoints when an Environment Manager configuration is deployed. Settings such as the default node timeout can be configured in the console, removing the need to manually set the appropriate registry keys. If a custom setting is added, it will be created on endpoints or override an existing setting. Custom settings can be configured to apply the default value for that setting or to use the value you assign to it. Both will override existing settings. If a custom setting is not added, that setting will not exist unless it is already configured on the endpoint, in which case that value is used. Something to be aware of, when upgrading a configuration, a setting which already exists on an endpoint will be overwritten by the value of a corresponding custom setting. If you wish to view a full list of the available custom settings, you may do so by looking on page 159 of the AppSense Environment Manager Policy Product Guide. The first step is to open a configuration in the Environment Manager console. I have already opened one for the purposes of this video. Next, select the Tools ribbon at the top left of the console, then select Custom Settings icon. This will cause a new Custom Settings window to display. Click the Add button to the bottom left to display the list of custom settings. When the new Add Custom Settings appears, you will be able to select the settings you want to configure. You can select a single item or select multiple items by using the Control and Shift keys. Pressing Control A will also allow you to select all the items at once. After you have made your selections, press the OK button. The selected items will be added to the Configure Custom Settings dialog. In this window, you will be able to set the values as required. All settings are initially set as use default. You will need to uncheck that option to update the value. You will notice that any updated value will be displayed in bold. Something to be aware of here as well is if use default is selected for a setting, the corresponding key is removed from the registry as it is not required for the default behavior to apply. Once you have made all the changes you want, press the OK button. These settings will be applied when the configuration is applied to the management endpoints. And that is how you use the custom settings features in AppSense's Environment Manager. Thank you for watching and please watch for other videos from AlterEgos.com. <laughs>